Soar on the Emmy Award winning series Kurai and his first cookbook, Anthony in the Kitchen, was released earlier in the week. Please welcome Anthony Rowalski. <laughs> It's so nice to see you, my friend. Yes. Now, yeah. you're just wrapping up with the yeah. We did Atlanta, Kansas City, Tokyo, and now we just finished in Philly. What, okay. are, we, what are we getting into here? I smell okay. things already so happening. This is a dish, actually, that I started making with um, my dear friend, uh, Mackenzie. We went to acting school together. Mackenzie Davis, she's turned into this like awesome actress. Well, she always was. But we met in, um, in Atlanta when I was filming my first season of Queer Eye, and she was wrapping her seventh season of a TV show. No kidding. And we connected over pasta, and we had some leftover Italian sausage, and we created this dish. Connecting over pasta? Pasta is the best way to connect. Yeah. yeah. All right. So, so you eat carbohydrates. I do eat carbohydrates. <laughs> Just want to confirm. I'm just very hyper, and I run I, twice a day. Oh, you but, do? Uh, yeah. How many miles yeah. a day? Um, I do. So it's I do 10 speed, 10 incline on the um, what's on the, the thing? Treadmill. That you run on treadmill. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. Um, for half a mile, run for 20 seconds, take a break for 10 seconds. Oh, so you so do that um, interval. interval? Interval. Yeah. Really gets your heart rate going. You well, my heart rate's going smelling this sausage. Yes. Speaking of heart rates, Sorry. Um, so we start out with some Italian sausage. I removed it from the casing. We're going to throw it into a, a very hot pan. Mm. Boy, sausage out of the casing is really like. Disturbing, isn't it? <laughs> it's not the prettiest yeah, of things. It's like, are we supposed to see that? Hey, I want you guys to help me. Oh, okay, yes. what do you want us to so do? I toasted Wait. some fennel seeds. If yep. you can put them in the uh, pestle and mortar or mortar and pestle if you're American, mm -hmm. and just crush those up for me, please. Kelly, if you could please squeeze some lemons. Yes, I will. So we have two whole lemons there. So basically, the, the sausage, you want to bra basically break it apart into really small pieces so that it gets really nice and crispy. Mm, I smell it already. It smells so good. Can you smell that? And then because we're okay. on television, which is my word for television. <laughs> How many languages do you speak, by the way? So my first language was actually Polish. That's what I um, mm -hmm. learned when I was in, um, at home. Mm -hmm. And then French I learned because I'm from Montreal, which is like a thing. Which is great. And then English I learned from Sesame Street, as like all immigrant yeah. kids. Right. Kelly's getting a core workout right now. Uh, yeah, by the way, I've right? never in You're my doing life. great. Thank you so much. You're crushing I've those. I've got well lemon done. everywhere. Okay, so I, you want to render okay. as much of the fat as humanly possible Look because you, you want you crispy. You want it crispy. You don't want mushy pork. You want it to be crunchy. Yes, that's right. And then great. I'm going to let you guys deal with this. Okay. Uh, okay, so we have white wine. You're going to put that into the pan. Thank you. Mm -hmm. This we put in first because you want the alcohol to burn out. This is not a dish that's supposed to give you a buzz. Um, and then a little bit by with the uh, butter, you just want to put little nuggets in one at a time. But we're on television, so we're going to put it all in at once. Yeah. All right. There you go. When did you start your love for food and cooking? Um, I think my, my earliest food obsession was maybe when I was like three or four years old and I tasted um, a green apple with a piece of sharp cheddar or, or Havarti. And I was Havarti's like, this is one really of the good. I love Havarti. Wait, where, where were you? Like, you I, was, I was sick at home and my parents were out of town and I had the lady who raised me, uh, Mrs. Teresa, gave me that as a snack. And Mrs. She was, Teresa gave you an apple and Havarti? And she peeled the skin off of the apple. Wow, she perfect. is amazing. Yeah. Um, I feel like a bad mom. Well. I, like I was like, here, eat well. your right, goldfish okay, what's crackers. Next? So, <laughs> so now we're going to take, uh, we have pasta cooking water. Water. Keep your pasta, pasta cooking water. Cooking it emulsifies. Water. It's a thickener. It's a really nice salty factor, and it'll it'll make okay. every sauce that you make really nice and thick. Got so it. then I'm gonna hold this for you. That smells so good. It, it really smell smells nice. good. I don't like licorice, but I like fennel. Oh it's so really? Funny. I'm the same. So we're whisking that up. Yeah. The pasta water already went in. That's gonna thicken nicely. And then, this is what it's going to look like. Mm, uh, what, what kind of pasta is this? Um, so that's trumpet pasta. I what I like about it is that little, <laughs> if you make that with peas, <laughs> yes. it, it'll hold it, everything. Right? Peas can fall into it really nicely, and oh sauces kind of like cling nicely, and the sausage just gets in little bits. OK, right, so, so fennel put, seeds go in. They've already been toasted. toasted. Yeah. You want to put those in at the end, because you don't want them to burn. I see. And then lemon zest. This is going to mm -hmm. brighten it up. Mm -hmm. Oh, and we're going to, oh, you put in the lemon juice earlier. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Oh, yeah. And then parsley, just to waken it up as well, because it's pasta. You want to try to lighten it wherever you can. Wait, so shall we ready? taste it? Yep. So we're going to put out our plates. Oh my gosh. The, oh and my should we pain. only eat pasta on plates this size, right? Apparently. Yes, please. Well, that's what we got, so we're working with it. <laughs> we can fill it up again. And I like to go heavier on the sausage and have less 
Just some beeping, no big deal. Yeah. Um, I like to go more meat than pasta because I always rather meat over pasta. Yeah, meat. So is the ratio is heavy on the meat, less on the pasta. Okay. Correct. That's and really we didn't good. salt too much until now because we're going to take care of that mm -hmm. now with some parm oh on top. Gosh, this mm. is, and this, this is, is going to cling breakfast. to the little crispy pork bits. You know what I do sometimes? I just grate the cheese right into Ryan's mouth. It's nice. great. It saves. Oh, it saves exciting. time. He gets so excited. I got in <laughs> trouble earlier when I was getting ready because I cut a piece off and I just started eating it. Yeah. To make it Ooh. look nice. We get in Wait. trouble every day eating cheese off the block. Uh, Anthony in the kitchen is available now, shall we?